Hi Capricorn, Narai here. I already put on my Florida water and I went on a tangent in regards to somebody that I feel like is harassing me with messages. They only sent me two messages. Um, the first message was telling me how madly in love with me they were. They're in another country. The second message yesterday was just way too long telling me how madly in love with me they were and that they were not going to leave me alone until I proved that I was married. Well, bitch, I'm not married. And I don't have to prove nothing. I'm not interested. Do not message me. Your message scared the life out of me because you sound like a person that would actually kill somebody for not being with you. So with that being said, Capricorns, I feel like some of you are in an environment where you do not feel safe. It could actually be friends. For some of you, it could be people that you are with romantically um, or are dealing with romantically. If you're in an environment where you don't feel safe or you have to worry about somebody doing something behind your back, I would recommend getting out of that because there's nothing like being in a situation or an environment where you're feeling unsafe and even especially if other people are feeling unsafe. So I just needed to say that. So Spirit, what messages do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node? Sorry for the angle. I'm doing this on my iPad because my computer was dead. Totally out of juice. Watch me pull the devil card. <laughs> Watch me pull the devil card. Yeah, when I got that message, guys, it just really made me feel so uncomfortable. See, pull your energy back from people that make you feel uncomfortable. As soon as it happens, pull your energy back. Because sometimes, I'll say this, and I'll say that this is, some, this is something that's happened to my brother a lot. He's on a, he's a cuss baby, um, Capricorn and something else. And so what I will say is this is in regards to saving your money and, and knowing where to invest. But for me, it's in regards to your energy too, because I feel like our energy has value. <clears throat> our energy is valuable, especially to us and, um, especially to energy vampires. So what I will say is, and I just lost my own train of thought. See, this is what happens. And I know I'm not the only Capricorn that does this. So bear with me one moment. <laughs> one moment. <laughs> oh, Lord. So what I was saying was, pull your energy back. The rest will come to me. Bear with me one moment. Let me just go to the next card. Okay, I have already made my video and I had to come back to add this. So this is what I was going to say about my brother. He has... And, I, and I've had this too. And I feel that there are probably a lot of people that experience this. But it's like you can't be nice to people. As soon as you're nice to people, they all of a sudden gravitate towards you because they think you like them. Because they think you like them. And so I feel that that is a problem for a lot of people. Like you can't actually be nice to people and just genuinely friendly because they take it and make it something that it's not. Like you don't even have romantical feelings, romantical. You don't even have romantic feelings for somebody, not even interested in getting to know them like that. And because you show them kindness and respect and they're not used to it, they take it as you wanting something when you don't want anything other than to be yourself. That is what I was forgetting to say. So back to the reading because this is an insert. <laughs> Love you. I have the sun card. This is about your happiness. You are only responsible for your happiness. Why do I feel like this came out the other day? You are only responsible for your happiness, not anybody else's. 
but this is about being optimistic. Um, this is about being optimistic, being happy, joyful, seeing the positive things in life. But for me, it's more about knowing that you are responsible for your own happiness. No one is responsible for your happiness but you. Don't allow anybody to make you feel like or guilt you into staying with them because, oh, we're bright today, aren't we? Because I know sometimes, I know sometimes people guilt people into staying with them. They make them feel guilty. Like if you're in an environment, and this is something I've, th this is something I've noticed in comments when I'm watching lives and even in my own, and this is why I don't do it anymore. So I'm going to say this really quickly because I really need you to think about how you could possibly be an energy vampire and seeking attention from people. And please forgive me because this is going to sound a little insensitive, but I'm not being insensitive. There will be a reading on YouTube with things that are so positive and so happy. And then one person will go in the comments and say how somebody just died. They're so sad. Somebody just died. And what ends up happening? Other people start saying how somebody else died for them. Like it's a competition when it's not. And then the whole energy of the reading changes. And please comment if you've experienced this and witnessed it. I'm not saying that you've done it. But for the reader, you actually change the reader's energy. And how dare you do that? And I think that people are doing that not knowing that when you're doing that, you're shifting the energy. And in a sense, you're kind of being, in, being an energy vampire. And I'm not saying this to criticize anyone. I'm saying this to make you look at yourself because I've even been in other groups where there have been lives and then um, people talk about how sick they are and it like totally changes the energy. And it's like, why would you even, this is not the place for that. And so think about where you are and when you're watching a live, consider the fact that you can totally throw off somebody's energy because there's, there's, I'm just saying, so you guys may actually have somebody in your life to where they have issues with their health and they hold on to it because it gets them sympathy. And then you have people that try to make you feel guilty for doing better for yourself or don't leave because I, I might, I can't survive without you. You're not you're not responsible for anybody's survival, okay? And somebody that really cares about you is not going to guilt you or try to manipulate you into staying with them or into dealing with them. And I tell you what, I'll be damned if I deal with somebody that I'm not attracted to. And I'm not trying to sound shallow, but if you're far and I'm not attracted to you, I'm not gonna talk to you. And not just that, I'm not open. And I could sound like a really ugly person right now. I'm not open like that. I have so much going on. I had to, I had to remove myself from something that I really, really loved. Mm. I had to remove myself from something I really, really loved because things are getting very busy at work. And I knew I wouldn't have the time I needed to do everything and have time to do self care. Like I haven't been taking care of myself properly and I realize that's why I've been sick. But um, we're gonna continue the reading. But you're responsible for your happiness only, Capricorn. You need to know when to move on to calmer waters. So if somebody's in your energy, I just saw 808, look up angel number 808. If you're in a situation or an environment where you're made to feel unsafe or somebody is at 737 on my on my time, it's look up angel number 737. <laughs> but um, this is moving on to calmer waters. You could actually have somebody coming towards you that had to move on to calmer waters because they're looking for their happiness. Ooh. What did I tell you? 
what did I tell you at the beginning? Of, I think it was the beginning of this reading and not the previous one, which I had to restart. So one moment. I have the page of swords. So somebody is thinking of you or it could be somebody um, is going to message you. For some of you, you may receive a small message, text message. And what came to mind to me was somebody messaging you just to see if you would actually respond or you respond to somebody or you text somebody to say hey and they look at their text message and don't even respond because they want you to think that they didn't see thinking if i don't respond to capricorn capricorn's going to want me more i have a problem with that and i think some of you should have a problem with that too i don't understand why people can't just message people when they see the message instead of playing the mind games. Um, but I feel like there's somebody that's thinking about you and they're getting these ideas about you, but I feel like there may be some messaging that's going to happen and take place. I feel like for some of you, you'll know who this person is because you'll be like, this person is, is like on very thin ice with you or has been recently. I have the world card. This is things coming into completion. This could be because of how you are choosing to handle things now. But this person is happy. She's elated. Look at the colors in her dress. It's like things are coming full circle. And then what do I pull? The damn devil card, Capricorn. The toxic card not saying that capricorns are toxic everybody can be toxic but this is for you to look out for the toxic energy i started off the reading talking about toxic energy this is you conserving your energy knowing who to invest your energy into and who not when to pull your energy back especially if you are not feeling well somebody's making you not feel well one moment I dropped these cards, knocked them off the top. Uh, I am going to take them. So the first card I saw was the King of Cups. This is somebody that is supportive. A lot of you are with people that are not supportive. You need somebody supportive. You may have somebody in your... Mm, you want support, but I feel... <clears throat> you hear that? You want support, but I feel that you have people in your energy that are not supporting you. And for a lot of you, you have to, when you meet someone, you have to pay attention to whether or not they're supportive for you. That lets you know how much a person is about you. And I don't mean financially supportive, although that is a bonus, especially if you like to shop. But what I mean is supportive in just anything that you do. And like when you're down trying to be supportive, if you're dealing with something, if you're in a, a relationship <clears throat> with somebody that is not supportive, baby, that person is not for you. And then I have this, the 10 of wands. This is, this is the, this is the baggage card. This is the burdens. This is all the burdens know what's yours know the difference in life between what is yours and what is someone else's and you have to think about this when it comes to your belief systems capricorn and i'm saying this because i love you and because i know a lot of times we take on people's stuff and we shouldn't this even can do with your belief system you have to ask yourself when you're dealing with somebody difficult or something difficult and i'll admit Recently, I had a situation that I didn't handle the very best. Um, and I had to, I had, something was said to me and it kind of angered me um, by someone. And then I had to ask myself, is this really like, is this really mine? Is this mine? And I was like, no, it's not. And so you have to ask yourself if something is yours. So when something is bothering you, you have to ask yourself, is it yours? Like some of you don't do certain things because 
you're told there would be this consequence but is this something you truly believe or is this something that you think because your parents told you because they were trying to scare you from something stuff like that um, but no know, know what is yours know when you're taking on too much responsibility in a situation too watch out for toxic behaviors this is screaming toxic mm. watching out for toxic behaviors and being mindful and knowing when to move away from things and also knowing what is yours and what is not and paying attention to people that are actually being supportive and for you can open the doors for new things to come to you. This is a possible job. You may have somebody at your job that's not supportive of you, but they're acting like they're supportive, hoping that you get something in your face, but behind your back, casting spells, hoping you don't get the job because they want it or they, they don't want to see you progressing because they're not. And I feel, and I had this conversation yesterday with somebody. You may actually have people in your circle or in your surrounding Capricorn that are just envious because they have so much responsibility that they chose to take on themselves by having kids and all this stuff and having all these things on their plate. And they may actually be envious of you because your kids are grown and all you have to do is worry about your damn self right now. Think about it. Sometimes when you do things, buy things for yourself or go on a trip or something like that by yourself or take yourself out to dinner, you have those people that are like, well, it must be nice. There's a little bit of envy in there. There's a little bit of envy, love. Just think about it. So, two more cards, Spirit. This is just toxic. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I may have started that. Ooh, and then I just pulled the moon card upright, too. I think that this is just confirmation that there's secrets. There's things you don't know. People are hiding. Some people are hiding their true feelings. Some people are hiding their intentions, too. There's agendas for some people. Yeah. Ah, the Ten of Swords. And with the Ten of Swords, that's like the ultimate betrayal being left to, uh, to bleed out. Um, it's the ultimate betrayal. It's as high as, it's the worst you can go with the Swords. So it makes me kind of feel that you have people around you that are secretly hating you. And then you have some people around you, for some of you, like the person I was talking about at the beginning, he sounds obsessed. That is scary to me. You have these, and I'm not saying I'm famous, but that's just unsettling to me. And dude, please don't ever reach out to me again. I reported that as spam. But now I'm kind of scared. Sent pictures to me and everything. Like, what the hell? You sound scary. But it made me, mm. just be careful, Capricorn. But I feel like you have, this is confirmation. You have people that want you to suffer. They secretly want, they may be nice to you and even give you things, some people. And I'm not saying be suspicious of everyone. See, this is funny because the burden card came out and then the devil card and then the ace of pentacles which is a gift or a job so i have the wounded warrior the nine of sword uh, the nine of wands excuse me in this particular card this person's been through a lot already people have tested and pushed boundaries that's why some of those sticks are missing. 
because the seven of wands is is standing your ground the eight of and uh, having boundaries the eight of wands is is definitely having boundaries and then with the nine of wands it's like you had the boundaries but people are people it's like it's backwards though because the ten of wands which is this is having all the burdens this is somebody that's that's kind of got boundaries, but people are pushing them because they don't have a lot. And so for me, when I'm seeing this card, it's kind of like people are totally disregarding your boundaries and people know what boundaries shouldn't be crossed, but they're pushing them because they can, because some of them are just freaking toxic and they are maybe good people not realizing their energy vampires and what they're doing. And they're just being toxic because of how your energy makes them feel. But there are people that are actually jealous because some of you only have to worry about yourselves. And if you're not, a, if you're not single and, and you're not without children in the home, it doesn't mean that this can't be you. It can be because people see how you are. They see how your energy is. And they're drawn to it because the, that light in you, Capricorn, and I've said this before, and I've heard other readers say it too. It's something about Capricorn and how Capricorns make them feel. And this is something I noticed about myself in my job. I will talk to, especially when I know I'm talking to an ethnic woman, a woman of color, um, international, it doesn't even matter, just a woman, period. I praise them and congratulate them on their job because a lot of them will tell me like about their life I don't know what it is about me but they just spill their beans you know it's a Capricorn thing they will tell me about themselves and I, some people I've discovered have been through abusive relationships and they're doing things to help other people to heal and things like that and so I will like I'm not praising just to be like, oh, let me just praise them to sugar up or, or kiss up or anything like that. I don't do that. I praise and congratulate people because I'm genuinely happy and I don't even have to know you to be happy for you because I think everybody deserves blessings. And I believe, I'm a believer that if you can celebrate other people's blessings that you and you're genuine about it, like really happy, which a lot of people ha can do that that it it opens your energy up for good things too and so i will and i feel like a lot of you capricorns because i'm a capricorn too talk to people and are really excited about them and you're like really amazed at some of the things that people do like genuinely and it draws people to you and it makes them want to to be in your energy and like i have customers all the time that want my personal contact information because they want to speak to me outside of work. And I know I'm on YouTube and I know like people see me all the time and I'm on camera, but I'm here by myself. So it's a little different. And as chatty Kathy as I can be around people that I know, I really, really like being by myself because I can sometimes feel the energy of other people and it kind of makes me uncomfortable um, especially when they're not in a good mood um, but I have people that gravitate towards me and want to be in my life on a personal level and I feel like a lot of you are the same way and then people don't understand why you have these different groups of friends um, I remember one time um, a friend of mine was like, why don't I know any of your friends? And I said, because you're not going to know any of my friends, other friends, because I have friends for different things. And so I had her and then I had my really close friends and then I had my other friends. They would never get along. And it's because I'm a very diverse person. I can deal with different personalities. And I feel like a lot of you are the same way. And you may actually have envy Capricorn as hermit mode as a lot of you are you do have friends and even though your circle is small you still have a circle and you may actually have envy from some of your friends regarding the other friends so i'm just putting that out there 
but people are watching you. They're seeing you take care of yourself. Um, some of you are learning to love yourself more and put yourself first, which I think is amazing. And I'm proud of you for doing that. Congratulations. But a lot of you are seeing your value and your worth. And now you're in an energy where you're not going to allow people to belittle you or make you feel uncomfortable. It's kind of like, okay, your time has expired. I'm on to bigger and better things and I can do bad all by myself and I don't need this type of shit in my energy is my Capricorn. I'm speaking on behalf of all Capricorns at this moment. But this is what I see. I see you guys feeling more confident. Um, some of you are doing things that put you... Um, I, I don't know why in my mind the microscope just popped in my mind. Some of you are doing things that's putting you under a microscope, possibly at job, and people might be looking for, for things that you're doing wrong because of envy. So I feel like there's a lot of envy in the air for Capricorn, and I feel like there's toxicity that's coming towards you because of who you are. <laughs> that's funny. It's because you work on yourself. You work on yourself with the seven of pentacles and you know that you're worth investing in. And people don't see all the work that you're doing on yourself. And people may talk about you with other people and, and think that they know who you are because they're getting someone else's perspective without knowing all the details because they haven't spoken to you personally. I actually had this happen to me recently where somebody thought they knew about my life and said some really stupid things. Um, so I feel that for you guys, it could be the same thing. People aren't seeing the work that you're putting in and they're just seeing fruition without the effort. And so there's, it's almost like seeing something and being like, ooh, that's pretty. Thinking it was very simple to make, not realizing all the intricate details and all the time that it took for somebody to make that. Like seeing something beautiful and being like, well, I want that. Not realizing it's not something you make in five minutes. It's something you make in five years. And I guess 555 five, five should be significant to somebody. I don't know why I thought of that. Oh, it's 7.55 too on my, on my clock. All right. So one more card and then I'm closing out the reading or whatever comes out. Unless I feel the need to pull more. Yep. <laughs> the five of wands. You're no longer dealing with people in conflict with you. No more conflicts. You're choosing your battles and you're choosing them wisely. And if you are in an environment where there seems to be a lot of conflict or you're in an environment where there seems to be a person that's trying to make you feel guilty into doing what they want, then you have to remove yourself. Um, this is about you choosing your battles. This is about you putting yourself first. This is about you not dealing with other people's burdens. This is about you having boundaries, very strong boundaries. This is about you continuing on your self-love journey. But um, you could actually be coming out of conflict with somebody too. And I feel like if you are, you're kind of moving away from that person. I'm going to let that be the last card. You had a tower moment with someone and you're moving out of conflict with them or choosing your battles can actually help prevent a tower moment for you, Capricorn. This was a lot. Oh. So I'm in Texas. And it's 7.50. It's going on 8 a.m. at my, uh, my time. I'm not going to do another reading today. Um, I have an hour to myself this morning after 
doing this reading and then um, I am working in the next 12 hours so I won't get off till 10 p.m. this evening so that's actually 13 hours from now um, or from 9 <clears throat> And then I work some uh, overtime tomorrow. So I will uh, more than likely be putting up videos tomorrow, uh, which is Sunday, hopefully. You guys know I'm not so great on my word. I'm working on that. But um, if you have other placements, I do have quickie reads that I did the last couple of days um, or the last few days. Um, water signs on one video, earth signs on another, fire on another video, and then um, air. So please check those out. There might be a message in there for you. I appreciate you coming by my channel. Um, if you like the music, uh, the music I use is from YouTube. It is a person named Kevin McLeod, last name spelled M as in Michael, A, C as in Charlie, L, E, O, D as in David. And he is one of those artists that has um, royalty free music as long as you share the link um, so you can uh, go in my video it actually has the link in there in the description box um, and you can put that on the internet and find it or go to the website if you want to use that for your youtube channel um, and not be penalized for it a lot of different uh, YouTube channels actually use his music and they're making money doing so. So just putting that out there. And um, I love you guys. I hope you are well. And if nobody told you, you are amazing. You are so deserving and worthy of love and good treatment and respect. Know your worth. Do not allow people to belittle you. And... Make sure you're taking care of number one. And until next time, I thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I love you. Bye.